Every few seconds, someone is diagnosed with Alzheimer's or another form of dementia. Our colleague Gordon spoke to two mid-state women who are now going above and beyond to put a stop to it. And as you're about to hear, their reasons for doing so are deeply personal. His mother's apple pie was unforgettable. And Gary Collier could recreate it to perfection. My dad loved being in the kitchen and trying different things, and he was almost like a chemist. So he and his son started Papa C Bakery in memory of family and history. And it's here in this Brentwood shop where Papa C started to forget. So it was little things like that that led up to um, us realizing that there was an issue. Alzheimer's, a disease that Paige Thompson will tell you runs rampant among her relatives. And it's been hard for everyone, but especially for Papa C's wife, who has been serving as his primary caregiver for years. I do worry, you know, at some point she's probably going to have to have a knee surgery. But, you know, there's no time for that right now because she's caring for my dad. Paige has been doing her part, raising money and awareness, and recently she took it a step further, participating in a Vanderbilt study that involves blood tests, brain and heart scans, and eventually a spinal tap. My dad would do this for me in a heartbeat, and so I want to do it for him. The study is being run by Dr. Angela Jefferson, who is also fighting for the people she loves. Her great-grandmother, two of her grandmothers. Generation by generation, it's like getting closer and closer. And more recently, her mother, who was just diagnosed. Yeah, it's just, it's so personal for me now. They've been collecting data for over a decade. The goal is to find out what causes Alzheimer's and to eventually prevent it. We want people who are age 50 and older, who aren't cognitively impaired, don't have any memory symptoms, so that we can test them for years and years. People like Paige, who sees Alzheimer's robbing Papa C of the things he loves most, his family and their history. I just miss, miss the person that he was. And she knows self-sacrifice is what's needed to stop it. I hope it's going to help my generation. I hope it's going to help my kids' generation. And there are currently 900 people in Middle Tennessee participating in this study. Their goal is to have 1,000, and they are really in need of black women and men over the age of 50. If you're wanting to learn more, we have the info you'll need posted on the WSMB4 News app. Carly Gordon, WSMB4. Carly, thank you. And WSMB4 is the official media sponsor for the upcoming Walk to End Alzheimer's. It's happening at the First Horizon Park on November 9th. We have a WSMB4 team walking and raising money that will go towards research. And we do hope you'll consider joining us.